millions of Americans expecting those stimulus checks we've talked about. At the same time, crooks are trying to trick people into sharing their personal information. Consumer reporter Alana Otler explaining how to avoid falling for these kinds of scams right now. It's the latest scheme to profit off the pandemic. Scammers are sending text messages containing bogus information about your stimulus check. The people are unaware that that you don't have to do this and the government's not going to send you a text message to retrieve this information. The Better Business Bureau calls this a classic case of phishing. Felicia Clark says these texts usually contain links to unsecure sites. The goal is to collect personal information then steal your money or identity. And it's not just text messages. Last week, Cynthia Davidson received two calls asking her to verify her personal details. It doesn't matter rich, poor, young, old, black, white, green, I don't care what color you are, uh, it affects people and there's enough fear going on uh, and chaos that we don't need people adding to the problem. The government will never request your banking information through random texts, calls, or social media. In most cases, the IRS will calculate your stimulus payment using your recent tax returns. Another scam offers to send your stimulus check early in exchange for an upfront fee. The money that people are going to be receiving is not going to have those strings attached and you shouldn't have to pay money to get money. Fake checks from the U.S. Treasury are also circulating. Red flags include spelling errors, phony seals, or instructions to verify your identity. In Dallas, Alana Altler, CBS 11 News. And if you have not been directly affected by the pandemic, chances are you know someone who has.